Hello everyone! Today I thought I would do the 50 random facts about me. I don't know if this is really random because I think the same is true for most British people that their favourite drink is tea. This is Redbush tea. Number two. I prefer savoury things to sweet things, although I do like chocolate very much, but dark chocolate. I prefer, style-wise, shabby chic, this is kind of shabby, tweedy stuff, um, as opposed to kind of ultra-modern, so like our furniture is what we'd call shabby chic. I was born at the end of the 50s, so from my childhood I grew up in the 60s, and then from my teens I grew up in the 70s. I was born in Scotland and we moved to England when I was 11. In relation to that, I have a pet peeve, which is when people call you English when they mean British, and that applies particularly to English people. I'm not English, I'm Scottish. My favourite holiday, as you probably know if you've been watching my videos, is camping in the south of France. I don't really like camping in the UK because it's cold. I am quite a logical person. I'm quite analytical and I tend to see things kind of in a flow chart and if you compare that to Ben whose kind of way of thinking is just like a crazy mind map mine is more like an outline document with main headings, subheadings and then bullet points and sub bullet points. At the same time as that though I'm really flexible so I tend to have lists for things but the lists serve me and I don't serve the lists. So. I can do something else at the spur of the moment. I love languages and I try to study and speak French and try to study and speak Portuguese. I love doing programming on spreadsheets and databases and things like that so I'm a bit geeky and nerdy. I started learning the violin when I was four and I just thought it was something that everybody did and I actually went for lessons on the violin and I learnt the piano at home with my mum and then when we moved down near London I went to the Royal Academy of Music junior course on a Saturday morning and I also studied composition and a bit of singing. I met Ben just before I was 21. Well I met him a whole year before that and you saw that in our last video the photograph of the first time we spoke to each other but then almost a year went by before we got to know each other really well and so that was just before my 21st birthday but before that I'd always imagined that I would be 27 when I got married that was kind of my life plan but you know when you meet a person that's it so I actually got married when I was 22. We've got three kids Louis you know and uh, Hilary and there's only 15 months between Louis and Hilary and then we had 14 years between <laughs> Hilary and Darcy and they were all planned. We've lived in the same house for 30 years. Of course we lived in a different house when we went to Brazil but then we came back to the same house. I used to be five foot six and a half and I've lost an inch in height. I think it's something to do with I've got a bit of scoliosis in my back so shrunk a bit. My eye colour is hazel, what you call hazel, but when I was a kid they were blue and they changed and I think the same happened with Louis when he was first born and the first two or three years of his life they were blue and then gradually they turned hazel. I am not very competitive at all so I can't get into kind of like getting really g'd up for winning board games or sports even. I'm much more kind of like about wanting to achieve my personal best. I'm not at all tidy. I don't really have a kind of systematic automatic thing built into me that makes me tidy things as I go and I tend to have to have everything written down step by step that I should do in order to keep the house tidy or keep my time organised. I really love being hospitable, having people around for dinner and throwing parties and it doesn't really faze me at all to have to do that suddenly or throw a really big party. I am not really that interested in cars. I don't like feel like I have to have a particular model or a brand new car or anything like that. I'm really enjoying driving Rodney at the moment. Okay, although Ben has the Mystical Cooks channel, I do love cooking as well. I'm not that much into baking, I, I don't mind it. Um, Darcy's more a kind of baking person, she tends to do that for relaxation. 
I've got quite a few friends that I have kind of made for life. I've got a friend in Scotland that I was at school with and we're still in touch with each other. And I've got a friend that I was at school with as a teenager and we're still in touch with each other. That's my Brazilian friend, Adila. And then my best friend that I see every few weeks and speak to on the phone all the time is Debbie and we made friends when we were teenagers as well. So friends for life. I've kept a diary since I was 13 and I'm sure that's going to be hilarious reading if I look back on it and um, they're in the loft so I think I'm going to dig them out and see if there's anything amusing there. I really don't like shopping and I don't get the whole designer label thing. I guess that's kind of related to the whole car thing, I'm not really into cars. I just don't get the point at all. It's just like consumerism and I, I don't get the retail therapy thing at all. Um, if I need something, I will have in mind what I need, like a new pair of jeans or something like that. And I like to get in there and get out again as soon as I've got them. Today is not a very good example because uh, I don't have my nails done. But uh, before I lived in Brazil, I never did my nails. And then since living in Brazil, I usually always have my nails done but I don't today, so um, I don't know how true that fact is anymore. I'm quite sentimental about things like photos and keeping little baby clothes and that kind of thing. I don't think I'm a hoarder, but I think I have got a few cupboards and things that are full of stuff that I probably should edit. So that's something that I find difficult, is to let go of really sentimental things. It really annoys me when people talk in code and they don't just say things directly and you're always trying to work out what they mean. I just think, say it like it is. That's my opinion. My favourite colour is orange. We used to have a 2CV that was orange. That shows you how much we don't care about car image, having a 2CV, that was our first car. My favourite place in the whole world is where we go on holiday in the south of France and my favourite point, I think I said this in a video before actually, my favourite point, geographical point, is swimming right in the middle of the bay. I just kind of feel like I'm away from everything and can get my head clear and it's just my favourite place. Okay, here's a fact that you probably didn't know. I used to teach keep fit. <laughs> You can't imagine that, can you? I'll show you my routine sometime. I still do it at home and it's with weights and it's aerobics and I did these qualifications and everything. The only bone in my body that I have ever broken is a rib. I haven't done any limbs or anything, but I had a chest infection and I was coughing a lot and then suddenly something pinged. I thought, hmm. My favourite food is chilli con carne. I was saying to Ben, Mr Gold Cooks, um, or you should invite Mrs. Cole to cook and I'll cook my favourite thing, chilli con carne, but he's going, oh no, go and do that on your channel. So you never know, I might do a cooking video of my favourite food, my go-to food, my comfort food, chilli con carne, British style. Of course, my favourite music is jazz, but in that genre there are lots of different styles. So there is bossa nova and bebop and that's where I get the scatting thing from and swing but I'm not that crazy about trad jazz. The last film I saw was Saving Mr Banks and I think me and the rest of the audience who were all about our age cried all the way through. <laughs> so it does say on it there are emotional scenes, warning emotional scenes, it is true. Take lots of tissues if you're going to see it. <laughs> My favourite TV programme is The Big Bang Theory. I just love the concept of these geeky nerdy people being the heroes and then at the same time um, Penny being a hero when she is like so much more streetwise than them and that whole kind of contradiction, it just is, I just think it's hilarious and clever. My favourite film is Big and uh, I really want to do a video about how that has inspired me and influenced me. I'm going to save that. I'm not going to talk about it anymore because I'm going to save that up for a fun video. I don't like sleeping in. I just get a headache when I sleep in. But I love getting up and just having some time to myself like this and just being able to regroup and gather my thoughts. I don't like sushi. I don't get it. To me, it's just like cold, wet fish. But people seem to be crazy about it. But no, it doesn't. It's not my thing. It's not my cup of tea. I've got two brothers. I probably need to do a brother tag, brother sister tag sometime. Um, they're much younger than me. One is eight years younger and one is ten years younger. 
and one lives on the Isle of Wight and he owns a barber shop and the other one lives nearby and he's a musician and he's a gym instructor and manages a gym and, and yeah and they're both really fun and I love them and I must introduce you to them sometime. Okay a pet peeve, I hate it when people chew with their mouth open or talk with their mouth full of food. I just think that's disgusting. My middle name is May, so my first name is Elizabeth, but everybody calls me Liz, and my grandmother was called May. Okay, another random fact about me. I'm allergic to cats. We did have a cat for quite a while. It was Louis's cat, really, and he used to belong to a little kind of church group for kids, and the couple that uh, ran that age group's group their cat had kittens and he came home and he's going, oh, I really want to have a kitten, they're so beautiful. And um, I knew I was allergic to cats, but somebody said to me, oh, you become accustomed to your own cat. No, you don't. <laughs> so I suffered for a number of years. I even ended up having an inhaler. It actually improved when we got a Dyson vacuum cleaner, so I can recommend Dyson vacuum cleaners. Um, so yeah, I'm allergic to cats. But Last item of clothing I bought was this coat. Just put it on. It's a little bit on the, it's not tight, but it's tight if you wear a jacket underneath, so it's not suitable for wearing a jacket underneath. And the reason I got it was because it was in the sale and it's nice and long and it's quite smart as well. This is not quite the shabby chic thing, but um, yeah, it's good for work stuff. I don't know if you can see it in here, yes buttons come off already that's the trouble with metal buttons but yes and it's nice and long and great for the cold weather in the UK I'm gonna get too hot now the last text I got was from my other daughter Hilary and it is reminding me because we're going to a family get-together tonight it's Ben's brother's birthday we're going to Henley on Thames which is a beautiful place so all the family are kind of going from different places and she's reminding me to take some things that she needs which are some nice teacups that somebody's given her for her teacup collection that she rents out for occasions and a microphone stand that she'd like to borrow. Number 48, so we're nearly there. I'm really terrible at remembering things. So like I was saying before, I'm not very good at being in routines. I have to write everything down and then I forget to look at my list as well. And a really terrible confession I've got to make is when Louis and Hilary were little, I forgot to take them to seven birthday parties. I felt such a terrible mother and I'd get so upset once I realized. And I remember Louis saying, um, don't worry, it's just a party. And the other thing is I'm nearly always late for everything as well. So that was fine when we were living in Brazil, but it doesn't go down well in the UK. And finally, I've got contact lenses. I went to the optician to ask him about whether I should or not because my neck was hurting a lot when I was doing computer work because I was having to like look through the bit of my glasses that would focus. And it's so much more brilliant than I realized it would be. It's like, everything's clear. And also, I didn't think I'd be able to have them because I've got very focal glasses and you can. And your brain just plays this trick because in one eye you have the magnification for seeing things close up that you need to and in the other eye you see it for far away and your brain somehow makes sense of it. So that's cool. So if you're thinking about contact lenses, I can recommend it and I'm getting on great with them. And that's my 50 facts. So I'm going to get editing now and see if I can make sure that this video isn't too long for you. So if you want to know any other facts, um, I'll do some Q&A videos in the future. So leave your questions below and see you next time.